Hey everybody, welcome to the Mud Jug One channel. I am your host. We got a different show planned for you guys today. We have a few guests. Jeff's in the house. We got Brad and then we got Chris behind the camera. And I wanted to do a video, a why a mud jug video, because we did one a long time ago, but I think for copyright reasons, we had to put it on private, number one. And we have a lot of new customers that are sending us messages. You get a lot of emails, Jeff, about it. You get phone calls. Brad about it. Explain to us why we need a mud jug or how does a mud jug work? So we wanted to, I wanted to sit down with the guys and get their feedback and hopefully it's not too biased, but maybe a little bit, <laughs> Slightly. right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, a mud jug isn't for everybody, but I wanted to just sit down and have a, just a round table discussion as to why the benefits of a mud jug and why, why dippers should have a mud jug. Right. Um, we do have a brand new Batman mud jug though, by the way. A lot of you comic book, what is this, DC? DC. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Marvel, DC, what? Yeah, I can't keep track. So, obviously, do you have a dip in, Brad? Well, absolutely. What are you dipping on? Grizzly Natural. I got the same. What about you, <laughs> Last of Room? Uh, Grizzly Natty, of course, right? Oh. Hell no, Coke no. Natty. Coke Natty, what a loser. <laughs> and uh, Dark Wintergreen CD? You know it. Uh, of course. So the first thing uh, I wanted to discuss was the fact that we have three different versions. Yeah. So the application of the three different versions. Now our products are spill resistant, okay? They have a hole in them and if you spit liquid in them, they can spill. It's physics, okay? But I have, gosh, I think I have maybe six of these in my house, one on my desk, one in the kitchen, <laughs> one in the living room. Um, but I like the classic, right? It's it's base weighted, so it levels itself out, which is good. And I just like the beefiness aspect. I the keep a of it. yeah, the weight. Yeah, I keep a roadie in my truck, so because it actually fits in my cup holder. This kind of sits on top, but not as good as as the roadie fits right in it. And then in my truck, I also keep a stealth, which I leave in the door of the truck, so when I'm going to Home Depot, when I have a dip in or somewhere. I just grab it, stick it in my pocket, and I got something to spit in. So let's get the expert, expert as far as <laughs> drinking is concerned, <laughs> Jeff's opinion on what he prefers, at least what design he prefers, and maybe give us some some of your experiences with, you know, you're, you're around a lot. Yeah. This guy parties like a rock star, mm -hmm. so you're around a lot of people, So and you're dipping all the time, and you have oh, friends okay. who dip. So give us some, you know, stories about why mud jugs have, you know, come through. The most through. important reason to have a mud jug is so your wife, your granddaughter, your daughter, all your family, that they don't drink it. I would always have beers. I'd drink one beer, <laughs> then I'd forget which one this was, and so I'd be drinking that one. I've got myself. My wife has drank from a McDonald's cup that was empty, and I was spitting into through the straw. <laughs> oh, that, and dirty. It's all in her mouth, and, you know, it's just, I've gotten everybody. I've gotten a lot of people, and I've even got chased down almost got my ass kicked for, you know, some big old truck driver drinking my shit. So that's the main <laughs> purpose, you know. You tip them up, they're not gonna, even this one, you're not gonna drink anything if you try to drink from it, you know. So yeah. That's the main thing. I prefer classics myself. Um, I love this design though. This DTOM design, Rhodey is sick. Um, I'm personally just a fan of the classic. I like the weight. Um, I do keep one of these also on my truck, either in the side uh, door or in the council. Yeah, council. Yeah. I'll yeah. keep it there. Just so, a lot of times I wear button down shirts and I have a pocket, so I just throw it in here. You know, just easy to spit in. Mm -hmm. When I'm grocery shopping or whatever. Yeah. So, before we go to Brad, let's just back up to, okay. you know, everybody, even if you're not a dipper, most people that, that know dippers, they either know a dipper or know someone who has been around dippers that has either drank from or spilled a yes. spitter. Yes. So, there is obviously a, a major reason why a mud jug is right. better than a cup can or Not a bottle, only that, right? Though, too, even bottles, a lot of people, back in the day, I used to spit in bottles, water bottles, mm -hmm. and then everybody could see it. Your wife, your girlfriend, yeah. most of the time they don't like the look of that. You know? clear so especially a clear water bottle. You're camouflaging yeah. everything, you know, so you're not seeing all that. You're not, yeah. it makes it easier for the girls, so. Yeah, I know my, my, my old lady, she doesn't like people who like spitting, period. Right. It grosses her out. Right. So if, if I if I were to be spitting in a, in a, a water bottle right. and she could see that blackness. Plus you're leaving it, it around the house because you don't have just, yeah. like even me at home, I don't have just one spitter that I use. No, I got one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom. I got them kind of all over. So yeah. if I had water bottles all over, then they're yeah. just seeing that nasty stuff. And what about there. company too? Company yeah. shows yeah. up, you got water <laughs> bottles everywhere. Yeah, it's cups. not a good look. 
No. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Randy? So for me personally, um, the classic is my favorite as well. It's just the weight and the feel of it. Yeah. It just I enjoy it more. Um, Stealth is also my second favorite. Like him, I just keep it in my door panel, and when I go to the store, I uh, just throw it in my pocket, and I'm good to go. Um, as far as you know, why using a mud jug? I go to a lot of social events. No. no I know, right? <laughs> well, you're 20 what? 24. Four. <laughs> and I'm around a lot of people, and to be able to not see it and have, you know, either a design or a color just kind of blocking out that spit, it really kind of adds some more, I guess you could say, you know, class to it. <laughs> but, We're classy dippers. And I don't want to interrupt you, but you made a good but point. But you just right did. There. I did. And you made a good point. You, we have so many different designs, so many different patterns. We're always coming out, releasing new patterns. Mm -hmm. And so it could fit your personality. So when you're going to this party, you bring this mud jug. If you're going to yeah. this function, you bring that, you know, design yeah. mud jug. So that's a good point. Good, you know? That's a good point. Good. Yeah, that's why we always, like a lot of people ask, why do we, why do you discontinue? Why do you retire certain patterns, designs? Well, number one, if they don't sell, what's the point of bringing them back? Some right. some sell better than other, others. It's just the nature of the beast. But... Uh, that's one reason. The other, the other reason is, is people are always asking, and we're always trying to bring things that fit people's personality and as to what they want, and it, and it changes, you yeah. know. Well, you bring some mud patterns in, and I look at them, I'm like, ugh, I don't like that pattern, mm -hmm. and then it sells like crazy. So you know, everybody's different. Everybody's yeah. got a different taste, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, I was, I was one of, one of those people who their back seat was water bottles of Ugh. spitters. And beer cans. Oh, <laughs> dirty. Not, dirty. But no, I mean, you know, you have a water bottle, right? You spit into that, you know, on a Monday and, you know, you get rid of it. And on Tuesday, that heat has baked that water bottle and it stinks when you open it. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to reuse that, so you get another one. And then it just builds up over time. And you if, you're, if, you, if you're looking for a water bottle, you don't have one in your truck at the time, you know, before mud jugs were out. You know, you'd have to go to the grocery store or go to a gas station. Yeah. Buy a bottle of water, buy a Gatorade, something like that, just to drink it, just so you can have a spitter. You know? Yeah, I mean, how many how many people who don't have a mud jug yeah. get in their truck and they don't have a spitter? Yeah. You know, their old lady cleaned yep. their truck or, or whatever. They had a crazy <laughs> night the night before and, and, you know, there's no spitter in the truck. They're like, oh, shit. They put a dip in and they got to stop and they got to spend money on a, on, on a bottle of water or whatever, Gatorade right. bottle, Either to, that, for a spitter. Or they're rolling down their window. Spitting out the window, leaving yep. redneck racing stripes. Yep. You know? So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I haven't heard that one in a while. Yeah. But no, I mean, as far as social events, these are perfect for it. You know, it keeps it, you know, concealed. Damn, bro, is that a spitter or a shitter? Oh, yeah, a spitter. <laughs> keeps it concealed. That actually helps the odors, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, but don't get them wrong. If you leave that thing's full in your truck for a couple of days, yeah. and it's cooking in California, it's California heat, ninety-five degrees, it stinks. It's gonna stink, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's also a big conversation starter. <laughs> what the stink or the jug? The jug. Oh, <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, both. And they make a good little weapon too. You yeah. can have somebody at a party pisses you off. You can yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's noggin. pretty solid. <laughs> Chris, why don't you hand that to me? What do you prefer, big? boy. I prefer the classic, but there's there's something about a stealth. For me, it's I could probably get about three uses before I dump it, and this is a lot easier to clean than I believe the classic, because the material inside everything just slides off. I just mm. unpop it, put it under the drain, fills up, you know, squish it around, dump it a couple times, and it's clean. Yeah. Squish it or shake it? Shake it. <laughs> shake it. But um, the, the roadie's cool. The roadie, I have this in my car just because it fits perfectly on the cup holder. Mm -hmm. um, my cup holder, if I were to put a classic, it's actually pretty cool. It sits up top, but you know, it's it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. If you put a drink though in front of it, yeah. right? Then it kind of yeah. pushes it off to the side. If you have a drink, then you're gonna have to push it yeah. up. Yeah. But I literally use these as you designed them for. Mm -hmm. I use this on the go or, or when I'm gaming. I use this for my car, and I use this for everything else. My desk, you call me in your office for a meeting, I'm bringing this. So before, I was just like everyone else. You, you spit in a water bottle, you spit in a Gatorade bottle. For me, it was Gatorade, just because it had the larger mouth, you can just throw your dip oh, that's turds. True. I've been, I've been using this product for over 10 years. Damn. And, and spitting in a bottle is just, doesn't seem right anymore. Prehistoric. Yeah, but I've been doing it again for a decade, using a freaking yeah. mud jug, you know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, 
What about the hands-free aspect of, of the yeah, roadie, I mean, roadie or, or the classic? Because you know, yeah, when I'm gaming, I, I use a classic. You use a classic? Yeah. It's a free spin. But I have a big, wide chair, and I just set it in my between my legs, too. And so you just game, and yeah. you, you just tip over and mm-hmm. spin? Yeah. 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 But, I mean, if you're working working on something, you say the old lady buys another stupid-ass dresser from Ikea, <laughs> and you got to put that shit together <laughs> on your living room floor, and you got your hands yeah. full. You know, there's a lot. A lot of times, I find that that, that a classic, because I always use a classic, um, is very good for ha- the hands-free aspect yeah, too, right? Sure. And a lot of people probably will comment that same thing. I know people emails with regard with comments or whatever. People only like the stealth. People only like the roadie, yeah. and their own. I mean, everyone has their own little preference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, yeah. That's my cool. Opinion. So let's address how to clean a mud jug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll stop some of my emails. Yeah. Please listen. I mean, so <laughs> the funnels just pop off, right? With, with the roadie, it's the same thing. Now, the funnels on the roadie have to be a little tighter just because this ring here has to press down inside, so it has to be a lot tighter. Now, with this one, because it has more of a rounded effect, the funnel doesn't have to be as tight because it actually goes the uh, that this little ring goes around this edge underneath. So, and then of course the stealth, you just screw it off. You know, this the, these are threaded. Holy shit! <laughs> it work out a little bit, right? But for me, what I, when I I don't clean my mud jugs very much. A lot of people, oh, I just I just use a bottle. I don't want to clean it. Well, you know, when it gets full, you just pop it off. You dump it. You rinse it out. What I do is I rinse it out and I'll put a little soap in there. And, I, and uh, I'll fill it up with hot water and I'll just sit in the corner and I'll grab another fresh clean one. Yeah. Yep. And then when I get two or three of them sitting in the corner full of soap and water after a few days, then I just rinse them out. I don't even scrub them. I just rinse them out and they're good. And then I sit them in the corner and then they sit there for two, three, four, five days, whatever, and they and they dry. Whatever's in there dries. There's not much okay, in there. That's because we have a few. Days. What about mm-hmm. people that just have one? Mm. We're going to eventually be scrubbing them a little bit. But I just yeah. get a paper towel. Toilet paper. Yeah, I mean, just ring it after I rinse it. Just you know, kind of wipe it down. Just throw it a in the little toilet. brush, right? Yeah, That's all you much. really need. That way you don't have to stick your hand in there yeah. and a sponge and yeah. you know, a little it brush, all. rinse it, soap, done. You know. And if it's that bad, like the ones that sit in our truck that stink because mm-hmm. of California heat. Yep. I put a little Lysol or a little poop spray in it. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> you know what's yeah. really good for that? My little at-home remedy is that uh, Listerine, the blue. Oh yeah. 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 Put yeah. a shot worth of that in there. Mm-hmm. Let it sit. You know what I put in mine? Simple Green. Okay. okay. Yeah, but I mean, people who only have one, well, you know, get another one. Maybe they should have two, right? <laughs> maybe they should have more than one, right? Yeah. Or I mean, enough geez. to get your free stealth. How many bottles you know? do you, do you buy where you don't need a, a water? Right. You know, I mean, in a year's time, when right. when these things are bulletproof. Mm-hmm. I mean, these things literally. I mean, we've showed we how shot how bulletproof we these shot are, em. right? <laughs> if you're complaining about cleaning cleaning a mud jug, you better rethink your entire life because yeah, you're, not you're them lazy. <laughs> you're lazy. So a lot of people ask us either with uh, customer service emails or you know on YouTube or comments, which mud jug should I get? Well, honestly, get the combo pack. The basic combo. Just pick the color that you want. You basically get a classic, a roadie, and a stealth. Just the basic colors, nothing fancy. And then that way you have one for each application. And then from there, once you, you realize, of the, of yeah, the choice. like look, yeah. mud jug isn't for everybody. Some people prefer using a bottle or, or, or having a lip. Well, this is why this is good because right. there's a lip there. But I, I don't need to sell people on it. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to help people, show them, give them the information that they need to make a decision. That's all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know how many times I've been at parties, you know, we're sitting around tables and either a red solo cup with a napkin gets tipped yeah, over of course. or oh. a bottle. And I mean, even though you had a few too many that night and you put it down wrong or you knock it over, it comes back up. Yeah. It's just, it solves a lot of problems. Yeah. And then not only that, like how many wives slash girlfriends, moms, sisters yeah. do you talk to on a regular oh, basis you'd, you'd my surprised. husband's sitting into my uh my china cups you know yeah. whatever with the napkin in it of course but the women hate it you know so yeah this gets all the one thing off. too like a lot of people ask are they dishwasher safe we yes and no 
it all depends on it. how hot yeah. your water is don't because the water can change the literally because it gets so hot can change the pigment of the of the the uh, plastic mm -hmm. and yeah and then when it comes to these there's a clear coat over these it destroys the clear and coat. It, it, it the hot water can just yeah i mean so we don't recommend you can do it if you're that lazy but i don't i mean i don't really want to put my dishes that i'm eating from with that in the same dishwasher as a dirty ass mud jug. Yeah. I'm, that's just me. Right. And I did this for just experimental reasons. I got two jugs, different patterns. One jug was fine, no problems. But the other jug, it tore off the whole pattern. So it just kind of depends. Yeah. I just wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Do it by hand, soap and yeah. water. That's open, it. Dishwasher, yeah. dishwasher yeah. liquid. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that's about it for us. Correct. Appreciate your time, Correct. boys. Of course. Make sure and grab you that Batman mud jug because uh, I think we did 100 and we are not bringing this one back. And yeah, they yeah. will fly. Yeah, they, they will fly. A lot of people are really digging these superhero type jugs. So, yeah. anyway, I'll leave you with this. I'll always be a man and reach for that can because ain't dipping, ain't shit. And you ain't packing, you slacking. And if you ain't spitting black, Brad, get your panties out of your crack. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be an Antifa thug. Get you a mud jug. I'm out. And you don't like NASCAR? I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, go watch a uh, bowling. How much? Oh shit! I think I'm, it's gonna it's, it's gonna, gonna get messy, messy, dude. CD. It's gonna get messy. Oh, well, that's huge, dude. Is that enough? I don't even know. Is that a lot? I think so.